I have money. I know what I want. I want you. Everybody, every girl has a price. I'm like. Welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing a krunkum krankum a story time. This is the story about the time that I went on a date with this guy and he thought that I was a prostitute. Or I, or I didn't even think he thought I was a prostitute. He just thought that he could buy me with money, okay? So, <laughs> yes. So what, before I continue with this story time, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Um, the link will be down below. There will probably be links up here or wherever on the screen. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Annabelle. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos. If you are watching this video for free, you better like and subscribe that button eh, before I come and catch you. Um, now. This, okay, so we are gonna start from where it all started. Okay, so this was when I was going to college. This was like, this, mind you, this is like I just graduated, I'm into college now, I was taking graphic design, and this is like two weeks into I've come into a college. I'm like, hey, I'm single, ready to mingle, hey, college, and um, I get to college and, um, you know, it's been a minute, I've felt out the campus, I've been looking, looking at who's on the campus, because, okay, so that college, um, they had two different campuses, they had the campus, I was living on residence, so that campus, I lived like two, two minutes, not even, like literally, I would wake up, if my class was at 8.30, I would wake up at 8 o'clock and just like get out of bed and just go, so, that campus, I, like, it was so small compared to the other uh, campus. And so everybody knew everybody there. And so I, <laughs> me coming into college, eh, I'm like, hey, I'm going to find my future husband. <laughs> so I'm minding my own business. And this this is the time, you know, I was I like white boys, okay? This was the time that I can say I was, I, I did I only like white boys okay and um, this guy I've seen this guy around and um, I, you know I'm like okay and he comes up to me okay and he he's like hey you're beautiful I've seen you around um, I was wondering if I could take you out on a date and you know get to know you and I'm like Okay, farm boy, chuka Okay, and then me, of course, I give him my number, and mind you, mind you, we've we've seen each other already. Like, we would like walk past each other, like when we're in the cafeteria, we're talking to other people, we'd be like looking at the corner of the eye, you know. And so we already knew like who we were, like we established the fact that you know we was looking up and down. Okay. And after I gave him my number, um, where did we go? We went to this, I don't want to mention names. We'll call him Albert, okay? Yeah, we'll call him Albert, okay? I don't even know where Albert came from, but we'll just call him Albert. Now, Albert said he was going to meet me at this certain location, okay? I'm the type of person like I don't like people knowing like where I live or like location wise so I was like I will meet you there at the where we were going to have dinner so I met I cabbed there and I met him there and you know he was looking fine fine boy okay and um, I go there and I sit down we're having dinner we are getting to know each other, you know, the vibe is good, you know, I'm like, okay, okay. I And 
I wasn't expecting anything, you know, because I had just gotten out of a relationship and so I was like just feeling it out. I wasn't like, okay, you know, deep down, deep down, I'm like, I'm going to find my future husband in college. Listen, first of all, don't go to college thinking, you, you know what, that's a story, that's another story, okay, I'll, I'll post that, I'll post that for something else, okay, so, you know, we're vibing out, we're chilling, you know, we're talking, we're getting to know each other, eventually, the night goes on, this boy, not even a man, let me start off, this boy has the audacity, the authenticity, eh? The chest. Let me tell you, he has the chest to ask me, baby girl, how much would it cost me to get you into bed? So when he asked me that, I'm thinking, eh? You know when you know when something happens i'm the type of person like if i'm in an awkward situation i honestly don't know how to act so like i'm in shock okay i'm in shock i'm like bruh did that just really happen like did this guy just ask me how much it would cost him to get me into bed like did i do is there a prostitution sign here like hello so this is the type of that people in the city be doing Okay, I'm thinking this is a joke like this is a prank like this is actually a joke like You have the chest to come and ask me how much okay sure uh, girls do that I mean, I'm not judging anybody the only person that would judge you is God me and me mind my own business but um, So I'm like And then I was like, why would you ask me that? He's like, well, I have money. I know what I want. I want you. Everybody, every girl has a price. I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> Listen, when he tells me that, I look at him like, are you stupid? Like, are you dumb? Really, you're coming to ask me that. You have the chest to ask me. <sighs> and you know what sucks? That like, I was like, okay, you know, he's handsome, you know. <sighs> and then you have to open your mouth and say that shit to me. That shit. That nonsense. To come and ask me. So, <clears throat> I'm like... I'm not a prostitute first of uh, this is how I respond first of all I am NOT that type of woman to do that the fact that you think that you have money and you can just go around asking people oh how much would it cost to get you and that's disrespectful like so I like the only thing is that like there's a time and place for everything okay when I'm in public I you know when you need to be cordial you need to be a lady you know you need to compose yourself in a proper manner okay that was how i was raised you need to compose yourself in a proper manner as a lady okay second just because you have money does not give you the right to go around asking people women to go around ask sure other women will do that but i'm not that type of woman okay and then after I'm like, hey, you know, you, this is like, we finished eating, okay? We're just sitting down and we're talking. And I'm like, hey, can we get the bill? Like, I'm gonna go. Like, I don't even care if I have to pay my own bill. Like, I don't care. I can f up. I'll pay my own bill. I'm leaving. And he's like, why are you tripping? Why are you, why are you like this? Like, why are you mad? Why are you doing, why are you doing so much? And I'm like, you just asked me. Like, first of all, I'm offended, okay? I'm offended. I'm offended at the fact that you think that you can just buy someone like that. And you know, it does happen. Yeah, it happens. But you think you can approach me with that? Mind you, I wait. I'm like planning this out in my head. I'm planning it out. Like, I'm need to, I need to compose myself in a, in a, in a, um, 
as a lady okay we're in public i don't want people thinking i'm crazy because i you know i don't want to, i just got into this city i don't want people to like find me or like recognize me and be like oh that's the that poor you know that went crazy i'm planning in my head okay so whilst i'm shocked i'm shocked price okay i wait i'm like i need to do something to this guy i need to like embarrass him in some kind of way i need to do something or else i will literally leave this situation and then you know when you when you like have an argument and then you you when the argument is done when the argument is done is when you you're by yourself and you're thinking and you come up with the the points that you the better points you know what i mean and i'm like okay i cannot leave this situation without doing something to this guy and then when he's like acting like oh why am i like bugging out why am i being so like upset about it i pick up my drink my delicious <laughs> margarita <laughs> my margarita that i'm not even finished i couldn't even enjoy because this fool thing he <laughs> and i pour it in his face and i say you you <laughs> I've put my time, I've put my money. First of all, makeup is expensive. My hair is expensive. My clothes is expensive. My time is expensive. And the fact that you have the audacity to waste... Who is bugging me? Who, to, uh, to waste my time. To waste my time. My After that, I saw him. Oh, I saw him. After that, a few days after, like I would see him and it would be so awkward. Like, it would be so awkward. Like, there was this one time where we would be like stuck in an elevator with other people. And you know, like when there's people there, you're like, and you just don't know how to act. That was it. And we would see each other. We never spoke. We never spoke anymore. <sighs> I've been through some shit, man. I've been through some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you guys like this story time, I have some juicy story time, okay? The things that I've been through, like, yes. So that's my story, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>